That's glass number 37. What's Diluc doing? I'm keeping count of this bard's alarming pace of progress through my wine. Only the knights drink for free tonight. It seems he didn't get the message. When he sobers up, I will present him with the bill. Diluc, you're a meanie. I'm joking, of course. I highly doubt he could afford it anyway, so I shall spare him the bill. But I must say, the sheer volume of alcohol this fellow can put back is just not normal. Oh, my word! The Tawn Winery's wine is every bit as delectable as they say! I would never be able to afford this normally. So, in the spirit of enjoying the moment while it lasts, another glass for the bard, please! Fenty can drink a frightening amount. Ah, hello! <laughs> I didn't see you there. I blame the wine for monopolizing my attention. <laughs> Much like my ballads, it deserves to be enjoyed for generations to come. What is this floating sensation I feel? Have I discovered the true meaning of animal power? That would be the drink talking. I hereby declare that every son and daughter of the city of the wind must be compelled to taste this finest of wines. <laughs> Here's to good wine! Oh, wow! Amber, you look like you're about to burst into tears. Whatever is the matter? Two things. One, this sweet madame. Two, this sticky honey roast. Did you make them? Mm, I refuse to believe it. Where did you suddenly learn to cook so well? I'm going to finish eating this, and then you're going to teach me everything you know. Don't you dare try and run off. Hum, num, num, num. Has Amber been drinking? Hey, having a good time? The thing is, Jean knows all of us so well now. When someone organizes a surprise party for you, the closer you are to them, the more bashful you tend to feel about the whole thing. So instead, we just gave you all the credit. After all, you did do more than your fair share of the work anyway. Of course! This party was clearly Kaya's idea. Shy Kaya? This is gold. <laughs> you think so? So you admit it! <laughs> I'm only indulging you since it's such a special day today. <sighs> this is quite a lot of excitement considering the idea was to relax and take it easy. Would a drink help you relax? Uh, is there anything without alcohol? What do you normally drink? Oh, you know, I normally mix a few things together. But I always add some bright red. Red? Let me guess. Tomatoes. No, watermelon. <laughs> Chilies. I add chili peppers. Chili pepper? In a drink? Leaving the hustle and bustle of the banquet behind them, the two of them stood there, together, in the quiet of the night while the rest of the world melted away around them. Sounds like the sort of thing you'd find in a romantic novel, no? I'm not trying to get you to recite poetry to me or anything. I'm just saying. Jean went upstairs to the balcony, alone. Now's your chance. It is you. Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion tooth knight. The Lion Tooth Knight represents Vanessa's past, 
a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the Dandelion Knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path.